Come on over, yes. There it goes. So this is Siege of Gondor. Random Heroes. This is a map from way back in the day that I actually did the modifications for. Uh, Your orders, Templar. It will be done. Although it is cool. It's kind of different from the original version. It's still mostly the original version. But mostly was trying to do a few balanced things and then also uh, add a little bit of extra spice. So in this initial part of the game, I mostly just focused on trying to establish defenses. Okay, let me see if they have Rizzical, which is a really good hero, but I don't have an Arbiter, so I have to be careful that he does not get ganked by a bunch of Nazgul. What I like to do here is kill the- oh god, that is exactly what I was worried about. And so that's going to slow me down quite a bit. Brown knows what he's doing. I copy that. So, in other versions, in HQ. Academy is the, the castle, Where which is the head? building you create to... Uh, so I can't even describe what's going on right now, because this dude is trying to destroy my base. Oh, my SUV is repaired. Okay, that sort of went okay. He got distracted by the uh, cannon here. And so Celeborn and Mary managed to hold off Sauron. Just like in the books. Right? Right. Mm, Celeborn and Mary working together, man. That's how it was meant to be. Okay. Um, can Faramir actually solo Easterling? I honestly don't know. But it'd be really nice to kill Easterling, so I think we're going to experiment. It's been a while since I've uh, tried to do this. I'm sure at some point I knew. Uh, yeah, he's not totally wrong. Direct my wrath. Consider it done. Okay, so not all in one go. He's gonna die if I stay. But he's got a start on it. This is going slowly. We want to have both this dead. And this space. We want this space dead, and we want this space dead as quickly as possible while also killing this base. That's, uh. That's this map. Wait, he. he emptied it? There's no NAS there now. This was up to. 4,000? Okay, that's. that's good enough. We still bring the dropship because we still don't know if he's gonna try to. If he's just. he could be like hiding right down here to avoid the scan to gank my Urza Hill. Oh, yeah. I've seen people do that. It's kind of cool, but it's Anytime also kind of risky. Because if he's too slow, I can just get the base. And that's exactly what we did. This should be So now, what does Faramir do? Faramir now can go help defend Gal Amroth until I have anything else to do with him. Rizzo goes back to healing, Nask will get repaired, and we're still making money. I'm 
in total danger is doing this because if I lose Urzahel or if he stops being valuable, it's kind of bad to spend minerals when Randall's Hall is clearly a big target, right? He wants to kill this base. This is one of my main bases. And if he does that, then I don't get any more money and I cannot continue upgrading. So upgrading, uh, what? I will only get this one Zerg unit, but it's still pretty good to get upgrades for him. So, there's that. I'm just spreading out some units, trying to get a little bit of vision going on. Be nice if I could actually destroy this base here rather quickly. But we'll see if that's possible. Okay, so now he's doing 480 damage hit. It's pretty good. He's a very versatile hero, and he's an important uh, melee hero, which is really important if I need to bring him down here to defend against Dark Swarm. Oh. Okay, now we need to heal Free Beard. Now we did clear up a bunch of stuff. So now what we do is I think we just push in and we try to take it with Urza help. Away. All of these guys. No, 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 you do not run back in. There's a hill. And uh, he still has some of them alive. I would like all of these to be dead. Each one of those units right here is very dangerous to me. Because they can create hallucinations of his heroes. Thankfully, he doesn't really understand their value or he's distracted doing something else, so he didn't save them at all. Good. Okay, so now Treebeard has very little value up in this top part of the map. So he can come down here and he can help defend Azkilia. Yes. I would still kind of like to keep my two melee heroes here in case he tries to uh, dark swarm me again. And in the meantime, if I could find my observer, there's a common secret, not really a secret, just a common thing in this game where you uh, can get two guardians for going right here. They don't have a lot of HP. They do have the range to uh, help clear out some defenses, especially if the defenses do not get uh, defended. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. But yeah, generally you have to defend your defenses. <laughs> Otherwise, they just get destroyed. But it looks like White might actually be done with what I plan to do with these drakes by the time I get there, which is also fine. Seems like he's not. Is he still getting harassed? No, he's not getting harassed by Witch King anymore. Mm. Yes, Executor. Indeed. I concur. Consider it done. Indeed. Consider it done. 
scan it. Or my SCV is always gonna get it. And we didn't kill him. I, yeah, it's hard to, def I needed to spread units up around here to prevent him doing that. But he didn't do it very, very early. I mean, this is still kind of early in the game, but it's not so early that I can't finish my Battlecruiser upgrades. And yeah, I feel kind of stupid because I actually had Urza over there healing too. And so his two upgrades on him means that uh, my normal archer is going to get their full upgrades. So it's, it's not that bad because they don't really do much anyway. Um, but it was it might have in the long run been better to focus on the normal units rather than on uh, the hero for the money since he did end up getting the space. And now we need to get you address me. Celeborn and Mary over to Lorien so that he doesn't do the same thing over there. And one thing distinctive to this game is I added just, it's not a really great masterpiece, this still isn't really a massing game, Upgrade but just complete. something Upgrade so that you complete. don't have to micromanage all your individual units. What just happened with, oh, down here, I'm guessing? Yes, exactly. Whoa, I kind of... Forget about Faramir. Oh god, that's not good. For ire. I want to finish off Umber, but I also ready. don't want to just waste Faramir doing it. Indeed. Yes, celebrate. And we got it! So now, this is what the game usually should look like around this point. With these three bases dead, and now the attack continuing into Minas Morgul. And with Thrandall's dead, Hall dead, that's pretty common. It's really hard to defend this base for the entire game. And now, I have to make a decision of whether I, you know, I... Whether I try to do anything fancy with those health, or whether I just send them down here to defend. And I think I just send them down there to defend. Because he does still have this Dark Swarm, so he can help Aragorn defend Osgiliath. Go and what, ahead, I, what I do with this Nazgul, I have no head. idea. I'm on the job. Anytime you're ready. Mm. Sounds fun. And so when the extractor finishes, you need to build a new extractor, because that's how you get your top tier units. And now I can just mass right into his base. So it doesn't send every unit, it doesn't send the Dragoons, for instance, and it doesn't send the heroes. It's not like an F2 in uh, StarCraft 2. It just takes the least, the least valuable units and orders them to move. The warriors have engaged the enemy. This way you can more easily just use your supply, because otherwise you hit max supply and it starts uh, killing your high-end units. So the idea was, was basically just to make it a little bit easier to suicide your bad guy, your bad units. It's not that it's a suicide, it's still an attack, it's just... Generally this is not going to be a particularly valuable attack, although here we're actually doing kind of okay. The spores have 5,000 life. And you can't see how much armor, but some amount of armor. And 
this is just doing like no damage to him, so we just keep attacking the building, because that's where real damage comes from. Because this just gets repaired even if we did do damage to it. And later on in the game, it'll be a little bit easier to kind of work in here, right? The idea is we kill the defenses around Minas Morgul, and then that lets us win the game. Because we just, once we destroy Minas Morgul, it's hard for Mordor to attack. He doesn't defend us, you know, he just needs to use the Witch King for about half a second. Because none of us have Arbiters, as far as I know. So all this just, just immediately dies. Or even OJ could uh, send up just some Scourges. They have lots of ways to deal with this. But right now they're not using any of them because they're, I guess, distracted with other stuff. Oh, he sent Sauron. Yeah, that, that works. That is one way to kill some guardians that can't move very quickly. So now I'm just back here. And I can mass all the units to it. If I do it right here from the get-go, then a bunch of units walk, walk into all this stuff. We don't want that. Hey there. Oh yeah, so unfortunately, because Thrandall's Hall got destroyed, I won't be able to get the max 6 upgrades here either. That's too bad. Oh no, if white disconnects the game ends, we don't want that. These dragoons I'm trying to micro, not very well, mind you, are my higher damage units. And that sounds bad. Was that ours? I think that was ours. Oh god, Legolas is gonna- oh, he almost got Legolas too. We need to kill Minas really soon. Where did my- oh, my server. It respawns, but it's still continuing. Trying to get some damage in on the target building here. Of course, you know, everything dies in time, but getting it 2,000 lower can really help. We'll see if it ends up actually helping here. I'm listening. You can see the space is just decorative now. As soon as the hall is dead, it doesn't spawn units. And so no one bothers attacking it, no one bothers defending it, it just sits there. I 
think that's Max Castles for us now, so I should start spawning battle cruisers. Battle cruisers basically are how we slowly work toward the end of the game. I mean, the fight becomes at some point the fight for air superiority. I know, in, you know, it's Siege of Gondor, Lord of the Rings, but, but you know, it's still the Starcraft engine, so. Oh. Didn't I move my Archons or did they die? I didn't even hear them. Oh, I left my Archons here. Oh man, that sucked. But it might be okay if, uh... Yeah, White has Amroth still, so Umbar's down. And we still have Mount Eric, but really it more sucked because now Blue basically can't really help with the pushes. Right, the idea is that hopefully me and Blue can push in together but when he is missing his main spawn, he can't do that very effectively. But he's kind of wasting trips anyway. He's just kind of working in from this direction, which is... You know, really, we have to kill Minas first. Up there doesn't help us very much. It's too early for all that. Basically what it comes down to. Oh, I didn't actually maximize my eagles. Oh, that was bad of me. I made my win consistent, my win condition less consistent by not doing that correctly. I messed up my up somehow. Yeah, I spent too much on archers. Too few units, actually. I might have done this attack too early. But it seemed like White had some guys here, so it seemed like he didn't have to start going in. He won't want to kill his bones. While also making. Oh, okay. So unfortunately, we did not. Yeah, this is too few units. We were too light. So long as Dol Amroth is still alive, we should still basically be okay. I'll just leave an Archon around here. Try to prevent from just dropping in his boss again. That was kind of awkward. Try to do something silly now, is he? No, he probably was just checking me out. He wouldn't know how many BCs I was up to. Basically, the BCs are like a countdown. And they're not even like a guaranteed win. You certainly can lose even if you have like 24 of them. All it takes is some good uh, manipulation of Shelob, creating dark swarms. Reporting. 
You know, they're looking for picks. He's got enough nuns that he wants a good pick. He wants to kill some hero that's out of place. But we don't really have a lot of units moving around right now. Because, you know, we're not spawning enough to get a good pick. I guess this is all the tanks quite will ever get, unfortunately. Which means, even though we're good on air, we still have a serious problem that we might just not be able to hold the ground. Yeah, they have let their supply get really high. Because they're playing very defensively because they just want to keep Minas Morgul alive. We pushed really hard and so now they're playing very conservatively. Ideally that means White will have time to build up a BC army along with me. Right, it's not uncommon for like Minas Tirith to be alive and Dalim Roth to die to something. It's very uncommon for all the air spawns to stay alive. And thankfully we killed Umbar because otherwise this game would be lost, right? If we were down to just Dal Amroth and, uh... Oh, hello. Did, did he warp out? No, no, get lob! Get lob! Hit! Oh, man. Maybe I should, I should have reacted faster there, damn. Where even did my arm? Oh, here it is. Oh wow, Yellow is trying to get in. Should be able to uh, push down. I'm here. Call the shot. So mad to hear that. Finally. Call the shot. Finally. Time for Earth to work. Okay, this is why I had Ursa hold down here. Uh, we can't do a whole lot about that, though, unfortunately. Try to, if not hit the base, at least work down their units some so they're not hitting white as hard. Kind of didn't exactly work. Did someone page me? Go ahead, HQ. In the five, 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 five. Receiving transmission. Make so it this, considering Take it slow. they're not fully up. Healing frequencies open. Make it happen. This is probably Take not enough slow. to really do what I want to do. Receiving transmission. But I can get them in position so that they're mo pretty much set up. Finally. Call the 
I'm not sure where all these heroes are dying at. Good day, Commander. Destination? I'm on the job. On my way. Did someone page me? I'm on the job. I'm trying to avoid blocking Theoden. I don't know why he's not regenerating shields on him. Ghost reporting. Call the shot. All crews reporting. Make it happen. I really should have Ob on that, but I don't. I don't even know where it is right now. Good day, Commander. Receiving transmission. Receiving transmission. I'm here. Good day, Commander. I'd kinda like to wait until Blue does something. Healing frequencies open. Don't. Oh. Yeah, he's spawning all sorts of garbage up here now. The ground is going to The ground is pushing it a little bit. Not a very committed attack yet, though. Take it slow. Pushing further into Auspilia, unfortunately. Ghost All crews reporting. Finally. Receiving transmission. Set the course. Okay, so blue's going in. Call the shot. All crews report the instructions. I'm all over it. This is, this is when we try to push the enemy. hard to deal with even when they're not fully upgraded. Hmm. Yeah, that's basically how he deals with it though. I mean, it took me a long time to build this army and he's just gonna bring up some hydras now. I was hoping that this frontal stuff would be enough of a distraction, but it... he... Do not, doesn't take long to notice this stuff going on. Whoa, he's coming up this way. Healing frequencies open. Instructions. We are under attack. He's not really. I mean, this will still be enough. These are the elites. He keeps the elites to deal with stuff like this. So not quite enough, because because I don't want to just kill it once. I want to be able to clear it both times. Was the hope, right? If you have, if you go in there with like 16 or 32, I mean, that's not 32, but if they're fully upped, especially. So OJ left. Harald left. So now, if we actually kill this. It 
is it worth the risk? I mean, I probably could use something else. I'll take it, honestly. With, with this dead, it can become a lot easier. I mean, you saw the Hydras, right? No, this is not going to be enough race to uh, actually... He wasn't anywhere near some fly caps, so I don't really know why he did that. He does still get occasional BCs and... Uh, tanks over at Mount Eric. It'd be nice to finish off a scanner. I don't know if it's worth it committing troops into the front lane, but it does push in, giving us a chance to maybe get over to Mount Doom to finish the game that way. It's going to be hard to kill Barad with his Arbiter still alive. Why is he irradiating workers? Oh, I blocked blue a little bit. Where is my Arbiter? Oh hey, I still have Faramir. I kind of forgot I had Faramir, to be honest. I would have rather sniped this with Faramir than that. Yeah, I'm not particularly worried about this. He hasn't used it pretty much all game. Oh, hello. Well, even though he didn't really do much there, uh, or we didn't we didn't kill him, but uh, that was still pretty good for us because it weakened Sauron for quite a while. Where is my observer? Is it down here somehow? Oh, there it is. I actually wanted it over here. What's up? Yeah, see, he doesn't. He's not paying attention to this at all. Give me mass down here. I am ready. Consider it done. Good day, Commander. Hailing frequencies open. Make it happen. Receiving. Receiving transmission. Healing frequencies confirmed. We have to be able to fight Hydras as well as everything else here. Which is why I'm just bringing everything.
All crews report to attack. All crews report. Oh, he finally remembered this stuff exists. Okay. Scans. Okay, that's your target. No, I want to kill the Hydras. We got this. Yeah, see, this is us for saying that. I knew there was going to be Hydra's coming from somewhere. And we got Broad number one, though. I thought it was time to just start going around the gate. just can't quite hit it. Not quite right. Ooh. Oh, well. Right. I am ready. There we go. Can I actually get in here? Good day, Commander. Your warriors have Let's bring in here. this next wave of ACs. Save your will. Oh my gosh, I can be elite. Tank for the pieces. Oh, no, 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 no. He's gonna freeze them and be calling guys again. And there's just not a lot I can do about this. This is basically what I was right about. Light is working this way for some reason. I don't really know why. Have engaged the enemy. Well, like, Logical is almost hold. It'd be nice to hold her. This is not taking damage very, very quickly. Oh!
so now Sauron is dead once again. And he finally concedes. GG. So this was Siege of Gondor, Random Heroes version extractor. Hope you enjoyed watching and I'll catch you guys next time.